I'm Joe, and welcome back to the Joe is Hungry channel, filmed and produced right here in the city of Fairmount, Georgia. Today, I've got a special treat because I'm gonna check out the Nebraskan-born original Runs a Sandwich. Before I get started, I wanna give a special shout out to Keith, Chris, and Gabby, Tyler, Jake, and Jordan, for sending me these sandwiches to review today. I'd like to point out that I have zero affiliation with Runs a Restaurants. The first Runs a drive through was founded in 1949 in Lincoln, Nebraska, later expanding into the states of Iowa, Colorado, and Kansas. For a total of eight 86 locations. This bread pocket sandwich, distantly related to the pierogi, has its roots in German Russian cuisine. But to me, it looks like a small hamburger calzone. The original Runza sandwich is made with fresh baked bread made on site in the restaurant every morning, stuffed with ground beef and onions, Runza secret blend of spices, and good old fashioned Nebraska cabbage. The Runzas come in seven different versions the original Runza, the cheese Runza, the Swiss mushroom, spicy jack, the Southwest Runza, the cheeseburger Runza, and finally the barbecue bacon Runza. According to the Runza restaurants, you're best consume these on site, cooked fresh in the restaurant. If you crave them and gotta have them, they'll ship 12 original Runzas frozen on dry ice for $165 anywhere in the lower 48. That means each one of these will cost you $13.75. The original Runza weighs in at 530 calories. I have the stats on the screen and in the description below. If you're lucky enough to live right next to a Runza, a single will cost you $5.59. Make it a combo for $9.99 before taxes in Iowa, Colorado, Kansas, and Nebraska. Oven instructions are preheat to 325 degrees, wrap in aluminum foil, or place in a pan with cover and cook for 45 minutes. For a microwave, wrap in wax paper, heat for two minutes on high. Now it's time to move on and do the Joe's Hungry unboxing. Now it's time for the Joe's Hungry weight test. Runs at number one weighs in at 7.15 ounces or 203 grams. Runs at number two weighs in at 7.40 ounces or 211 grams. Runs at number three weighs in at 7.70 ounces or 219 grams. Runs at number four weighs in at 8.50 ounces or 241 grams. Add them up, average them out, do the math. You buy them across the counter, that's gonna set you a high average 73 cents an ounce. If you buy them online, have them shipped, that's gonna cost you a lofty $1.79 an ounce. With a seven and a half ounce sandwich and more than an ounce spread between them, I can't really give them a pass on the Joe's Hungry Consistency Weight Test. Now it's time to throw these in the oven, thaw them out, and do the Joe's Hungry Big Reveal. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like, and this is what it's supposed to look like. We've seen what it looks like, we saw how much it was. Now that only leaves one more test, the definitive, the one and only, Joe is Hungry Bite Test. So it is Bite Test Engage. I reheated these three different ways, once in the microwave, one in the oven, as per instructions, and another in an air fryer. At 325 degrees and 20 minutes, it came out just fine. After 45 minutes in the oven, it was still frozen on the inside. It actually took upwards of an hour and 10 minutes before it came up to temperature. Also microwaved for two minutes on high heat, and it also came out fine. The onions, cabbage, and the beef are well cooked and blend together really well. There's also a slight amount of background heat. I would give it about a one on the Joe heatometer. After the heat fades, 
you're left with a pleasant hint of onions. The meat, the onions, and the cabbage are a very good flavor combination. The bread is well seasoned. In general, it's a good savory flavor that keeps you coming back for more. As far as the weight discrepancy, I'm really not gonna fault them too much on that. These things are handmade with very little automation. Now it's time to give this thing a score. If y'all don't know my scale, my scale is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything of nine is a once in a lifetime experience and almost never achieved. Five and down is that all too familiar and we see it a lot lately. The slippery slope to food hell. So let's go ahead and give this thing the number that it really deserves. It's good flavor. This is tough. I can see this thing scoring really high if you bought it fresh over the counter in the restaurant, not shipped halfway across the country, frozen. So I have to score what I have right here in front of me. Six nine. That is my number. That is my review. Thank you for sending these, and hopefully we'll see y'all again in the next video.